morning friends today is prototyping day for me this is where i have the most fun as a business owner it's where i can test out new designs new materials try out new equipment in a very low stakes environment so that i can really hone my process to make new designs for my shop i definitely learned the magic of prototyping back when i was in design school my professors used to make me draw a hundred different sketches before i could even think about settling on one of them and it sounds like a lot truthfully at the time it was but the sentiment of just letting yourself create freely try new things is still very important to my process to this day today we're just gonna focus on testing out making two new things tote bags and sticker sheets these are both things that I've never done before but today we're finally gonna do it with the help of Cricut before we get to the making I just want to quickly say how much of a dream sponsorship this is for me back when I started my art business in 2020 my very first business investment was actually this cricket machine. I got this thing three years ago and it's helped me grow my small business. This was the machine that helped me make my very first stickers, my first packaging design, my first everything. She is the one that has stayed up with me till 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m. sometimes making hundreds of stickers for you guys. So needless to say, I'm a very big fan of Cricut. For this video, they sent me the Cricut Joy Extra, which is very small in comparison. This is actually perfect for me since I moved to a much smaller space. But the sky is so small, even when it opens up, like this is how much space you're using. So before we start actually printing and making the sticker sheet, I went ahead and went to the Cricut Design Space. I've always been such a big fan of the Cricut Design Space because it's so intuitive and so simple. So as you can see, I drew everything on Procreate on my iPad and then I imported two different layers, one background layer and then one sticker layer. We're going to want to import them as separate layers because the Cricut is going to detect them as two different things to cut. It's going to cut your stickers out and then it's going to cut out the rectangle of the sticker sheet. Here I am just resizing and then rotating it by 90 degrees so that I can fit two sticker sheets on one piece of normal 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. I'm going to attach both of them to the board and then here is our final proof. But if you don't want to have to draw your own designs, that's okay because Cricut has tons of their own fonts, images, and graphics that you can download and use for your own projects. Like these retro stickers, I would totally use and make them for Christmas presents and I would barely have to do any work. So I have my Cricut Joy Extra sitting on the table and then here I have my amazing printing setup on the floor. <laughs> While this is printing, I'm going to go ahead and select my base material. So this is just material that the machine will know like what to cut, whether it's vinyl or cardstock. Basically just tells the machine how hard should I press down to cut through this whole thing. But since this is a sticker sheet, we don't want it to cut all the way through the paper because then they'll just be individual stickers and not a sticker sheet. But what's nice about Cricut is that they have a setting for a sticker sheet. So you go down here. So what we want is printable sticker paper, no liner printing. So that means it's going to cut through the sticker but not through the backing which is what we want. And I went ahead and printed this out on the lowest quality possible. You can see all the lines here because I wanted to print it out fast and not waste too much ink. All right, so here we have our two sticker sheets, four and a half by six inches. And what a lot of people will do is that they will hand trim the borders themselves, but I just went ahead and put it back into the Cricut, deleted the sticker layer, and just had it cut the background layer again. So now we have some perfectly cut sticker sheets.
I'd say that is pretty good. There's minimal cuttage in the back right here. It still functions perfectly as a sticker sheet, which I'm so happy about. I can't believe it worked pretty much on the first try. This one cut a little too deep, but that's an easy fix because there's a setting in the Cricut design space that lets me choose less pressure for the blade. But yeah, my very first sticker sheet, and I'd say this is a pretty good first try. Definitely for the final product, I'll use a higher quality printing setting. And I'm not quite sold on the size of these stickers. They're pretty big for a sticker sheet. So what I might do is shrink them down to half their size and have double the amount of stickers on a single sheet. So yeah, you'll see that at the end of the video. Next on the docket are tote bags, but before we get to printing those, I need some coffee. I don't know if you can tell, hopefully not, but I did not sleep very well at all last night. This one was crying, but she seems better now. Bunny coffee. Okay, I feel much better now. So the plan for tote bags is to use my tote bags that I have at home. For the ones I'm selling in my shop, I'm gonna order them in bulk, but to practice, I'm just gonna use this one that Mr. Uncomfy got me. Okay, side note, but he painted these. How cute is that? But I'm just gonna use the back for practice because with vinyl, I'm gonna be using the Cricut printable iron-ons. So these are cool because you can basically print off any image and like a patch, you would iron it onto any fabric. I actually already designed something that I really wanna put onto a tote bag. Here is my tote bag design. I wanted it to be like a retro greeting card slash stamp and I put in some leaves and mushrooms and of course a Maxine. So I think this will be perfect for the fall. I think that was a very successful day of prototyping at home in the studio. We made sticker sheets, we made tote bags, and I'm so excited to offer these in my shop soon. There are still some tweaks I'd like to make, like instead of this white color, I'll order some tote bags that are creamier and maybe olive green. That could be cute too. With the sticker sheets, I'll probably make the stickers a little smaller to be able to offer more than four of them on one sheet at a time. But yeah, that was really fun. I'm feeling very creative creatively happy right now. I can't remember the last time I made so many new things all at once. Thank you again Cricut for sponsoring this video. All of their materials will be linked in my description. Now it's time to eat some lunch, probably take a nap, and then I'm gonna get back to sculpting orders. Okay, so I wrote down everything that I needed to do today. I think I'm gonna try to start doing this every Sunday where I just write out my plan for the week in my notebook so that I'm ready to go starting Monday. So yeah, this was really nice. So today I wanted to respond to some commission emails as well as submit some content ideas for my sponsors. So I'm gonna do all of that right now. Yeah, good nap. Okay, I finished all the emails and boring tasks in like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna have a quick breakfast. I think it's important to show that I don't just work all the time. I actually try my best to take care of myself as well. I think I'm just gonna have some yogurt. 
This is just plain yogurt, so it's really sour and tart. Usually I sweeten it with honey, but yesterday Mr. Uncomfy made homemade strawberry jam. So I'm gonna swirl this in with the yogurt. You guys, I just made a homemade strawberry yogurt. That is crazy. Hi friends, so I finished all of the bunny pancakes. It is 4.15 now, so I was sculpting for about three hours. I don't think those would have taken me three hours, but I was filming both for YouTube and TikTok, so whenever I'm filming something, it takes like three times as long, so um, hopefully things will go faster tomorrow, but I'm gonna go work out with a friend now, and I'll check in with you guys post-workout. Here is my post-workout check-in. I'm deciding to make time for myself and just have at least like 15 to 20 minutes of just relaxing. I'm so lucky because I was able to snag the Bobby Goods coloring book. I've been coloring in this for about a week, but it's still in this plastic because I wanna just like preserve it as much as possible. Hi 
my friends so this is the next day and i decided to actually go outside of my apartment for once to do some commission sketching basically i take commissions for my palmer clay sculpts and during that process i like to make a quick sketch to send to the client so that they can approve the design before i start sculpting it so this commission was really fun because this client is also a small business owner and she wanted me to sculpt her business's mascot it's a bear with a sprout on its head it's holding pizza on the left hand and tabuki on the right because she wanted it to symbolize her small business being able to fund her travels so last year she went to italy and this year she's going to south korea so here's how the final sketch turned out i like to give certain options so the first option is the bear standing on a meadow and the second option is the bear standing on a wooden plaque because i had this idea while i was sketching it so i thought i might as well give her the option and she ended up choosing the second one so i finally finished all these sketches for the new enamel pins that i'm making first i'll show you these puffer bunny i made this clay version of the puffer bunny last year and now i'm gonna make her into an enamel pin as you can see i just color dropped all the different colors in the pin and then i found all the pantone colors to help the manufacturer choose the right colors if you don't know what pantone colors are think of like the most expansive set of paint swatches that every manufacturer uses so that everyone has the same colors in mind like if i just send them a picture the colors on my screen might look different from the colors on their screen so then that's just a miscommunication so that's why you want to identify all the pantone swatches i'm also doing this orange cat with overalls as well as a siamese cat version so in total i'm ordering three new designs and then i'm restocking on my goldfish pins and my puffer cat pins so i'm going to type all this up to email my manufacturer and since they're in china they're going to respond to me like at midnight or something so um, i'm pretty much done with this work for the day Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over 